What is up, YouTube? It is me, Michael, Mikey, Mikey D. Loopy. I guess you could say um, that name hasn't been chosen already. I might as well go ahead and pick it. It's a little fun piece. Everybody's commenting me on it. Um, I want to say how I have had like a crazy day. You know, it started out dragging myself out of bed uh, and going to work my typical 4 to 12 weekend shift at a nearby Target. And I gotta say, the day kind of, it started out pretty good. You know, I was tired as usual, so I didn't feel like talking to anybody at work. But as I wake up throughout the day, I don't really like, you know, stay mad all day. I wake up and I feel better. <clears throat> I finally go home about 12 and, uh, you know, I'm waiting on the bus. <clears throat> and I just, I just sit down waiting on the bus, the 43 in particular. And, you know, I, I, I used to pay, but I'm not really paying right now because I don't have enough money. But, you know, it's free, but uh, I try not to take advantage of it. But this, this ain't about that. This is about me just sitting down and waiting on the bus. And some guy, this homeless uh, little, little, little uh, cuckoo, he starts to say how I'm attacking him. We're trying to kill him, uh, trying to track it. And I've already uploaded this video to YouTube. And uh, for those of you who don't understand it, I say mental illness in captions to let you know that that's what I'm seeing in San Francisco. This is in San Francisco. I've already posted a few videos about the mental illness that I encountered in Los Angeles. Now, if you do your research, you'll realize how mental illness is quite impactful towards the homeless. Most homeless deal with mental illness. Uh, most of them are mentally ill. And most... A lot of mental, uh, mental real people are homeless. So, and I learned about this fact. I think my introduction to criminal justice class, this was back in 2010 or 2011 ish. And this is like a, more than a decade ago. This is about a decade, almost a decade and a half ago. And uh, I'm, I'm really seeing that for myself. You know, two, two big cities, two major cities, Los Angeles and now San Francisco. And I've stated how. I'm not going to encounter that San Francisco. San Francisco is a little town in L.A. Um, you know, obviously I don't like L.A. because of uh, the, the, the way the people act there. It's just crazy and so pretentious, pitiful, and angry. And, uh, you know, maybe because L.A. is also dull and in the movie business. But San Francisco, it seems to be different. And uh, I hope that people aren't as mean or whatever. Um, it's just like I've encountered a few people that are, that, that are just and some not mentally ill, but they're they're evil in a way. They were evil in a way. Um, so you know, of course, there was this woman that uh, I encountered in Japantown at a Japanese restaurant, and uh, after I ordered, I asked her if she by herself, and she said she was waiting on somebody. But as I continued to eat, you know, we're right, right across from each other, I noticed that nobody shows up. So I encounter her again, I'm like, well, why did you say that, you know, you're waiting on somebody and nobody came? And she said, I just wanted to be alone. I was like, why didn't you just say that from the get-go? And she, and she just smiled and didn't answer. I said, you know, you're wearing a Christian cross, you should be more honest. Um, not treat men like shit, obviously. And that's the kind of person I am on confrontational. I like to, you know go in your face with it and, and not 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 an attacking manner necessarily but I like to be you know I like to be direct because there's a lot of people that just are assholes and if you can't really see my face it's the lighting of my room but anyway uh, that's one of the asinine things oh and earlier that day uh, some guy with a a kid this is a black guy with a kid uh, he started talking to me as he got upset because I sat down by his uh, you know it's actually sat on his back and I apologized like twice, uh, three times I think actually, which is beyond my limit. I usually try to usually keep around too. But he, um, you know, he said I don't, I don't like men sitting with me. That don't make me feel right. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. And like, do this a public bus, you know. And after after the conversation, I realized he's he's mentally ill too, you know, and he's got like a two year old in the shoulder with him. I'm like, dude. 
this was this one I'm about to put up with? It was mixed with your parents too. Hey, baby, look fine. Uh, anyway, um, helps you don't go up the carrot catch anything, you know, like hereditary. But what I'm what I'm what this video right here is about is what today. This guy that uh, attacked me was just talking about you want to track it, you want to track it. You know, you can't track it. You're trying to kill me, man. And he called me woes, he called me a faggot, he called me a bitch. I'm like, I cussed him out too, but I'm like, what, what does he mean by track? I literally sit down next to the guy, like, not, not even trying to sit by him, but just sitting down at the bus stop, and there was no bench, so I had to sit on the ground. Why are you on the bus? And the bus was going to be there like a few minutes. I'm like, probably seven minutes. And he just starts accusing me of trying to kill him. And, it's, and what it was is he was being paranoid. And uh, I don't know whether or not he's been doing drugs or not. I don't know the situation. I don't know if anything happened. I, just, I literally just saw this guy. And every day it's almost like I meet mean, I encounter a homeless person who has got an issue, uh, a mental issue. And, uh, and, you know, I spend a lot of money every day just eating out, so I try not to do anything to be homeless, too. But I'm counting a lot of good people. Um, and I'm not the type to go around, like, filming anybody. I don't. I don't film people. But that guy, I just had to, like, I had to get a fan of. He's, he's harassing me at this point. He's harassing me like I'm he's in my face. You can see in the camera he's got, he's got his hand, track it, track it, something like that, doing this or something. I, I don't know what he's talking about tracking, like tracking what? The wing on your finger? You try to track it. What am I doing to him? You know, I'm not trying to track. When he says track, you know, T R A C K. Uh like he monitoring or something? And I don't know, I should be doing my, my homework, I plan on doing my homework as it is. Um, but, I just wanted to mention this real quick, you know, I wanted to mention this about this guy, because this is one of the scenarios that happened today, um, it's just, just one crazy ass scenario. And, actually, I, I tried to... I lay a little trying to scare off the guy because I'm, I'm really tired at this point. He's harassing me. And I basically just, like, get ready to, to fight if I have to. And, he, and, and uh, you know, I, I swing my bag at him. I end up damaging it, break some of my stuff. Um, I had some liquid bandage. I had to rebuy it. It got all over my bag. And the bag I just threw away. And then he finds a balloon and he hits me with it, swings at my sides. And he's like, just trying to attack me, like, you just try to kill me, you want me to push you into the car in traffic, I'm like, I'm like, dude, would you just go away and leave me alone, like, just walk that way, and then he starts bothering other people, too, so I know it's not just me, he's bothering other people, and making sure Mike picks up on him, you know, uh, but this guy is, 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 I don't know, he's paranoid, and, uh, uh, I can't tell if he's been doing something, I don't care, I just want to leave him alone, and he just goes around, yelling, but it's mostly me, I'm like his main subject for some fucking reason, and then finally he walks away, catches the bus, but, you know, I, I walk off to see where he's going, and uh, I see him catch the bus, and then I walk back, and, and, I don't know, man, this, 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 this city's always looking pretty bad when it comes to the, the, the people, of um, some of the people, anyway, uh, and then, um, you know, there's, there's also another incident, um, I, I kind of didn't want to say this, but I, when I swing my fist out of angle at the nearby bus thing, you know, and I've done this, I've done this a few times in LA, just because how irritated I am, I just punch things, I'm swinging my fist out of irritation, um, because it's so unnecessary that you just encounter that and you're just doing something simple as waiting on the bus. Just, just think about it. You're waiting on laundry, or you're going to eat at a restaurant, or simply walking down the street, and people get mad and like tell you to slow down and walk on the other side or whatever. 
it, it's like they're trying to control you. And, and, and the, I don't know if it's my skin color, if it's these glasses, or what the fuck is going on. Like, you people are just so weird, man. You know, I'm not trying to walk up behind people, whatever, you know. People walk up behind me, too. It's, it's a city life. And it's weird. It's, uh, I'm like, these people have been living for years. What the fuck? Is, what, what are they doing? And anyway, this, I swing my fist at the, at the uh, thing, and, and this old man gets mad. He's like, hey, man, don't do that. I call the police. And I'm like, dude, why do you want to call the police? You know, he, he's like, he got an accent, so he's from another country. And, you know, he gets his phone out and dialed and calls, talks to somebody, but then we get on the bus. And when I get when I get off my stop, I'm like, so you want to call the police because I'm cold? You know, you're a racist. And, and obviously this guy's not from this country, but the reason why I said that is because he just wanted to call the police just because I swung. I'm like, I, I know I swung at the thing, and it's alarming, I understand, but I didn't swing at him. Why would you want to call, call the police? You know? You could just say, hey, don't do that. And at this point, I'm all irritated, so I might tell him, shut up, leave me alone. Uh... Yeah, and, you know, I know I know in uh, California you can't be doing things that wrong people. You read really, anywhere, but California seems that people are just way too sensitive to things. And, um, uh, I should have just, like, really walked another up away from that homeless guy, Olio. But I was, at this point, I was just tired of people, like, harassing me. Like, the guy at the airport, I just tried to sit out in the restaurant. And this was back in L.A., at the LAX airport. I tried to sit down, and he basically thought I was trying to walk up behind him. And I told him, man, look, I'm not trying to walk up behind you. All I'm trying to do is sit down and eat or something. Because I saw the sign that said, sit down at a table, and the waiter will be right with you. That basically means you, wait, you sit at a table, you wait, and they'll bring you the menu. Uh, probably introduce themselves and let them know, let you know that they'll take your order or whatever. And you look them in you and your order. But this guy is like, he's just getting all mad at me because I walk past him and ask me am I good. And I, and I, you know, I, I uploaded a video about him. I didn't catch the whole thing as like I should have, but finally at one point I was like, I remember to take out my phone and I just started recording him. And I told, I told, because I told people that's what I'm going to do. If people keep harassing me in California, I'm going to keep I'm going to start recording these people and putting them on YouTube. Because I want people to see, not just what I put up with, but if you think about coming to California, this is what you're going to encounter. Because it can't just be me, you know. Uh, cock, cock, lazy eye or not, I know my lady sways up, my eye sways off that way. But, you know, I feel like I'm like the most intelligent person around because I, 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 I don't know, I just... By the way, I got a milkshake and a Pepsi combo. Yeah, really rocking it tonight. The one piece. Pop combo, too. Chicken sandwich. Uh, I'm trying not to eat the sandwich. And camel. And milkshake. You know? Um, and part of my room, I just need that back. Somewhere else. I try to keep my base clear, I had to clean up a little bit, but, you know, these are some of these crazy things I've encountered in the past two months alone, and, it's just, if I don't encounter a problem with somebody mentally ill one week, I, I think I'm doing quite good, but if you step outside of your home, you're whisking these, these people, they're, uh, up being around, um, and that's not included last year, you know. Uh, if I could just keep track in a journal how many times some stuff like this happens, you know. Um, one guy, while I was walking, I was walking at Target, he, like he said that y'all have done something to the dudes because there's no, none of those, you know, tabs you pull when you open the container, there's like a plastic tab over it or whatever, paper tab, that keeps it flashing so I don't know what y'all done the glow ox it used to be I have a tab the safety tab on it but y'all done done something to it so I just give this instead and that's what you, that makes me think okay we didn't do anything to it that's just a manufacturer they shipped that to us like that that's glow ox not putting no safety thing and when I told my boss about it she's like well we don't control that's the menu we don't control that we just put it on the shelf and it's just like some of the people I get, it reminds me of walking in pavilions in Beverly Hills two and a half years ago. 
then 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 when uh, COVID people were like so paranoid, they're like, What did you do to this? I want this, you know, I want some that works, I want some food sanitized. And uh speaking of sanitized, I forgot to do a mask at the Walgreens. But uh I mean CVS, but people just get so irritated. It's like after COVID people are still mentally affected. I think I don't know if it's the vaccine or if it's the the virus itself, whatever, it's people are just so mentally crazy. People are crazy. I just don't know how else to say it. I mean, I try not to really use that term because it's harder to find, it's very subjective and uh, I'm always saying that there's no such thing as crazy. Uh, that's not a word. That doesn't exist, but I mean, that person just told me just how the mental illness is crazy. The mental illnesses is just not crazy. Um, so these people, these people are affected mentally by something. You know, I just, uh, if you may want be wondering why it's so, why I'm taking it so personally, it's because I live in the city and I'm like trying to walk and sleep and do basic things and I encounter these people and. Uh, the only problem I have with myself is, is that I spend a lot of money and the most of it is just eating out, you know, and I'm also getting ready for the Anime Fan Expo this week, starting on Friday, speaking of which, I have got to try on my One Piece outfit, it is $39.99, it is a Double XR, double, W extra large, so two extra. And normally I wear a medium, but basically in Japan they want a small. So if you get a small, it's gonna be really small in America. And if you get a large, it'd be like equivalent to a small. Basically, it was suggested to me that the guy at the, at, the, at the front desk suggested the employee said. You want to get two sizes up. So if you're looking for a small, you want to get a, a, a large. If you're looking for a medium, you want to get an extra large. So I got an extra large, uh, like two XL. I'm gonna try it on in a bit and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, these 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 videos are kind of long. I apologize, but. You know, I have to get that off my my chest. There's a lot of shit that's going on. It seems it's like I can't even really go around without people attacking me in some way. 